Cashman for the United States of America around the outside. Remember, only two make it through. And uh, the American, very wide round there. And uh, she takes up the running now. So Karen Cashman for the United States of America out in front with uh, Chun Lee Kyung for the Republic of Korea in second place. And the Canadian Annie Perot in third. But uh, the pace really hotting up now and the Canadian makes a move up into second place. Annie Perot, still uh, Chun Lee Kyung for the Republic of Korea out in front. Remember two make it through into the finals. The American fighting hard. Karen Cashman in third place. Has she got the strength left to make it through into these uh, finals? Still Chun Lee Kyung in front. With Annie Perot in second place. Encouragement there from the coaches on the side and other members of the team. The bell goes. One lap remaining in this race. And the American has dropped right back. Now, Tesha Gawara makes a move, but left it too late and uh, look to me the two qualifiers there Chun Lee Kyung definitely out in front and I think Annie Perot for Canada just about held off the challenge from uh, Ikyu Teshigawara from Japan they look like the two that will make it through to the finals from the uh, first semi-final we move on now to uh, the second semi-final there's the lineup. Marinella Canclini for Italy, wearing number 31. Kim Yun Mi for the Republic of Korea. There she is, number 51 on her hat. Wang Chun Lu for China in the red strip, wearing number 17. Nobuko Yamada for Japan at the back of the pack at the moment, wearing number 37. And uh, the Canadian here, Tanya Vincent, wearing number. 15 and uh, Natalia Svechova for the Ukraine wearing 59 but it's the Canadian out in front at the moment Tanya Vincent 11 laps to go so Canada lead with uh, the Ukraine in second place Wang Chun Lang for China in third Canclini for Italy in fourth at the moment and uh, still a very sedate pace nine laps to go it's Canada in the lead Ukraine in second China just uh, watch the Korean they really are so strong at this short track this a non-contact sport and uh, if you're gonna make a move there's a lot of overtaking in this sport if you're gonna overtake You've got to make sure that uh, you've got a clear path. So China out in front now. Wang Chun Lu with Canclini in second place. But uh, the Canadians put the pressure on. Tanya Vincent, seven laps to go. Makes her move now. Wang Chun Lao stays with it. Canclini in third. And uh, the pace really hotting up now. And... Uh, Natalia Svechkova for the Ukraine, unable to keep with the pace, still the Canadian out in front. Wang Chang Lu in second place still, with uh, Marinella Canclini for Italy in third. As uh, now Kim Yun Mi makes her move around the outside. A blistering pace. Now, can she keep it going? She's taken a very wide line. It's opened up the field. The Korean out in front. Kim Yun Mi with two laps to go. And uh, the rest of the field unable to keep with her. Well, that is most impressive. Now, the battle will be for second place. Can Kleene in third at the moment. Tanya Vincent just about makes it through at the bell. One lap to go. She's got an awful lot to do. Wang Chung Lu from China around the outside, and she's going to take second place, I think. Well, my word, what a final lap from Wang Chung Lu. But uh, Kim Yun Mi, quite outstanding. And uh, she left the rest of the field for dead. There's the uh, second qualifier. And uh, they join Annie Perot for Canada and Chun Li Kyung for the Republic of Korea from the first semi final in the finals. Well, there's the. Uh, Line up for 
the final semi-final. Kim So-hee for the Republic of Korea, wearing number 49. Isabel Charet, wearing number 12. Number 19, Yang Yang for China, out in front. So Yang Yang. There's uh, the American there, Amy Peterson, takes up the running. So the United States of America in front with uh, Yang Yang for China in second place as the Korean Kim So Hee makes her move around the outside. Yang Yang just uh, speeds it up. And uh, now the Canadian Isabel Charet at the back of the pack and really unable to keep with the pace. And uh, I can tell you that uh, this was a rerun. The uh, first race. There was a bad clash between Isabel Charest and Amy Peterson. The race had to be stopped. And uh, Isabel Charest and Amy Peterson really struggling to keep with this. So six laps to go. The French girl out in front, Sandrine Daudet, with uh, Kim So-hee in second place. Yang Yang for China in third. Two make it through into the finals, remember. Five laps to go now. Still uh, Sandrine Daudet for France out in front. Yang Yang in second place and uh, Amy Peterson not giving up, has a look down the inside, but uh, now Yang Yang makes her move on the inside. Dode down into second place. Kim So Hee for Korea battles her way back up into second place. So it's China one, Korea two. And uh, Sandrine Dode for France, unable to keep with these two. And uh, Yang Yang there for China in second, looks to have settled for that placing as they come to the belt. They lap now Isabel Charest, who must be desperately disappointed. And uh, this sure to be the one to. Kim So Hee for the Republic of Korea wins with uh, Yang Yang for China in second place. look at the uh, burst of speed there from these skaters quite outstanding and uh, out in front Kim So Hee as uh, Sandrine Dode there makes her move up the inside and uh, things get desperately close in this sport and you look at the uh, the look of despair on the face of Isabel Charest for Canada Superb technique from the Koreans. Kim So-hee through to the finals. Well, that's... now out onto the ice. That's Kim So Hee for the Republic of Korea. And uh, you can see the skates. Oh, there's a good shot. And you can see that uh, the skates are offset. The blade actually not in the middle of the boot and that enables the skaters to get the tremendous lean that you see and uh, keep the power and the speed round the corners. from the coaches and uh, 
All three Koreans won their heat. So there. Going number 50, Chun Lee Kyung for the Republic of Korea. The uh, Seoul Canadian, Annie Perot. Uh, Yang Yang for China. And then the Seoul Canadian, Annie Perot. So, uh, as you can imagine, a very slow start. The uh, Chinese take up the running. That's Yang Yang out in front with uh, Wang Chun Lu in second place. Then uh, two Koreans with Isabel Anna Puro, sorry, in fifth place. But, uh, this really will be a cat and mouse game. Kim So Hee at uh, the back of the pack at the moment. Bronze medalist in the uh, 1,000 meters in the Olympics last year. Silver medalist in the World Championships and uh, probably favorite to win here in uh, Jovic. And it's uh, Kim So Hee that takes up the running now with 10 laps to go. Kim So Hee out in front with uh, Chun Li Kyung for Korea in second place. The Chinese at the back now blocking Annie Puro from Canada, who's up into third place as now Wang Chun Lu for China tries to make a move around the outsides, but the, uh, the Koreans are having none of it. And uh, they successfully keep her down in third place. Chun Li Kyung for Korea in front now. Kim So Hee in second place, and uh, Annie Perot for Canada up into third. And uh, the Chinese now starting to make a move around the outside. Perot trying to keep with her, and uh, the Canadian nearly loses her footing there. There's now Wang Chun Lu around the outside, and uh, Annie Perot for Canada lost a lot of pace. So it's now Korea one and two with China in second place. And Chun Li Kyung, it is in front with Kim So Chi in second place. Wang Chun Lu in third, but uh, being threatened now, and it's the other Korean that gets up there. Kim Yun Mi up into third place. Well, a real scrap here for the line. Well, that was desperately close. Well, it is the uh, front of the skate that has to cross the line first, and a real dive to the line there from uh, Chun Li Kyung. And there, Kim So Hee. Well, there, look, they don't come much closer than that. My word. Inspired stuff from uh, the Koreans, and what a team they've put out here in these world championships. Of that final, Chun Li Kyung for Korea in first, Kim So Hee for Korea in second, with uh, Wang Chun Lu for China in third. And a spirit, but no medal for her today. Line up for the men's final. And uh, two Canadians in here. Mark Gagnon. Wearing uh, number 113. 
Eric Flame wearing number 180 for the United States of America. Lee Chun Ho for Korea, it is out in front at the moment, wearing number 162. American Eric Flame in third place. Gagnon now down into third as Eric Flame takes the lead. Not Mark Gagnon back in front. And uh, his teammate, Frederick Blackburn, at the back of the pack. As uh, number 164 now, Song Ye Kun for the Republic of Korea takes up the running. Flame back out in front. Canadians down in fourth and fifth. Flame now holding up the pace. Six laps to go. And Flame still out in front with Mark Gagnon for Canada in second place. And uh, the Koreans really struggling. Well, Flame pushing for home now, putting the pressure on, and he really has stretched the field. Mark Gagnon just biding his time, you feel, in second place. And Gagnon takes a look down the inside. Not this time, and he loses footing. Well, that is a real disappointment for him. Now, can Eric Flame hang on? The bell goes. But it's number 161, Che Shi Hoon, in second place, right up behind him, and it's going to be a dive for the line, and Chi Hoon gets there. Well, after making all the running, Eric Flame for the United States of America will have to settle for second place. It's uh, Che Ji Hoon who wins. But what a marvelous race from uh, Eric Flame and bitter disappointment from Mark Gagnon. Well, that's the moment that uh, Eric Flame went into the lead. And you can see there Gagnon just uh, takes a look down the outside. And he knows that he can't let a big gap grow. He's got to go with him. And there, a hand in the face from uh, Eric Flame. Gagnon takes a look down the inside. And they're just catching an outside edge. Lost his grip. And that picture tells a story. Now to the lunge for the line. You can see that uh, Che Ji Hoon wide into the bend, cuts right down the inside and sprints for the line. Eric Flame just didn't have the strength left. And uh, that the margin, next to nothing. Splendid stuff from uh, Che Ji Hoon for the Republic of Korea. And uh, Eric Flame, who really did give it his best shot, there's no doubt about that takes the silver medal. Now for the United States of America, the silver, Japan, Austria, and uh, the United States of America, their confirmation of this lineup in heat number one. There'll be three heats. reigning champion and uh, they won last year with their team of uh, Natalie Lambert who uh, has retired now Angela Coutron, Isabel Charest who's here Sylvie Daigle and Christine Boudreau China won the silver medal last year and uh, take up the running 26 laps and a change over there they can change over as many times as they like
but uh, there can be no changes in the last two laps. So it's uh, Korea in front with America in second place. And uh, Japan in third. A good change from the Koreans there. And uh, the Japanese taking a look down the inside. So Koreans perhaps starting to uh, stretch the field now. Chun Lee Kyung out in front for Korea. And uh, the Americans trying hard to uh, reel her in, and that gap has closed. Dicey moment there for the Americans, but uh, still hold on to that second place with uh, Japan in third. And uh, the lead extended once again as Kim So Hee hands over. Change for the United States of America and close to losing that second spot. Lapping the Austrians now. Number 51, Kim Yoon Mi, looking very focused indeed. Japan now, perhaps losing touch as we reach the halfway point in this 3,000 meter relay. So two teams make it through into the semi-finals. And Korea stretching the lead again as Japan now come through into second place. Oh, and the American falls. So Korea in first, Japan in second, America out of it. Now, barring any accidents, these two sure to qualify. Despair. On the face of the American team. Well, it's important to get up and get back into the race because uh, it isn't over until that final lap. And uh, the two final skaters have crossed the line. Anything can happen in short track speed skating. It's Kim So Hee out in front now. And Amy Peterson for the United States of America just uh, handing over. And, oh dear me, the Americans having a, a terrible time. Still Korea out in front with Japan in second place. So Kim Yun Mi for Korea takes up the running now and they really are in a class of their own, coasting their way home. And uh, you can see the skaters in the middle there, just getting up speed and it really can get very confusing indeed watching this. Three laps to go for Korea. So now three laps to go for the Korean. There'll be a change on this lap and that'll be it. Number 49, Kim So Hee will do the final two laps for Korea. And they're sure to qualify. Into the final lap now. All she's got to do is stay on her feet. Japan comfortably in second place. And there the Koreans win. And Japan in second place. And uh, those two teams will make it through. A very, very strong team indeed. They're the Italians. the Italians who take the early lead and uh, a nasty moment for the Bulgarians into the first bend a change from uh, China so still Italy out in front China in second 
Bulgaria in third. Now the uh, Chinese out in front. And uh, a faller there, that's it. the Italian. The fall was uh, after the exchange, so uh, still in second place. So China in first, Italy in second, Bulgaria in third, and uh, the field might spread. Wang Chun Lao for China, it is handing over now. And uh, China looking in a class of their own here. 19 laps to go. And uh, a good change there. Nice and smooth. Player number 21 now takes up the running. And uh, the Chinese stretching their lead with every lap. If they can keep themselves out of trouble, it will be a very interesting battle between uh, the Chinese team and uh, the Koreans. Italians trying to reel in the uh, Chinese team, but they've got an awful lot to do with 12 laps to go. Medical Turi, it is for Italy at the moment. The Chinese team so strong. Wang Chun Lao hands over now. A good leg from her. Eight laps to go. And uh, there really seems to be no stopping them. Yeah. about a, a quarter of a lap, separating first and second. Five laps to go now. There the uh, Bulgarians at the back at the moment. So the Chinese need to keep their composure. It's, uh, Home and dry, the gun goes, so one change allowed in this lap. And then into the final two laps. And uh, the Chinese team looking supremely confident. One lap to go. And then Marinella Canclini it is for Italy, who uh, brings them home in second place. And uh, there the Bulgarians cross the line, but uh, no doubt about the winners. There's the lineup: Canada, Russia, Germany, and Holland. Welcome back. You rejoin us live here in these uh, World Short Track Speed Skating Championships and the ladies 3,000 meters. This the third heat, 19 laps to go. And uh, it's Canada out in front. The lineup, Canada, Russia, Germany, and Holland. And uh, the order at the moment,
Canada, it is in the lead. Russia in second place with Holland, hot on their heels. And uh, Germany at the back at the moment, but uh, Canada looking very strong indeed. And uh, they must be impressed by the performances we've already seen this evening from uh, Korea and China. The Canadians, the reigning world champions, silver medalists in the Olympics last year. Good change from uh, the Dutch team. But uh, Canada still out in front with uh, Russia. Trying very hard there. The Canadians coming up to lap the Germans. looking very, very strong indeed. Tony Vincent just uh, handing over. And uh, the Germans make a change. Charay for Canada, handing over now. It's uh, Tania Vincent who takes up the running for Canada now. Three laps to go. Hands over. That'll be the last change. And uh, the bell now for the Canadian team. Russia in second place. Isabel Charay crosses the line for the Canadian team. The Russians, Russians in second place. Sure, right. And uh, they go through, as do the Russians, Norwegians, and uh, the skaters warming up their confirmation of the lineup. Japan, Great Britain, and Norway. Heat number one, remember, four heats. Explosive start. And this off to a very, very quick pace. Great Britain in second place. Japan in front. So uh, Japan making a race of this. Nikki Gooch it is handing over now. And uh, the gap closed. Wilf O'Reilly it is. He just takes a look down the inside and he now goes into the lead. A change for the British team. And uh, back down into second place. Japan leads. Great Britain in second. Norway in third. And uh, the name of the game really in this short track speed skating is keep out of trouble. So the order remains the same, but uh, Norway have uh, pulled up a little bit. 
20 laps to go. Japan out in front. Nicky Gooch in second place, and the Norwegians right up in contention. Well, this looks like being a very exciting heat indeed. struggling again but uh, the one two remains the same Japan out in front Great Britain in second place and uh, Norway struggling again with 14 laps to go Nicky Gooch takes over for Great Britain interesting to see whether he can close the gap now very smooth style from Gooch. Now 21 years of age, lives in uh, Barnes, silver medal winner in the British Championships. Remember, a bronze medalist in the 500 meters in the Olympics last year. So a good change from the British team, and they now go into the lead. It's Great Britain in the lead, but Japan fighting back. And uh, Japan back in front. And uh, the Norwegians unable to keep with the uh, two leading teams. Good change from uh, the Japanese team. Still Japan out in front, Great Britain in second, Norway in third. Five laps to go, sorry, six laps to go. And once again, Great Britain close the gap. So Matt Jasper it is. And this a very good leg indeed. Jasper hands over. So three laps to go. Japan out in front. Great Britain in second. And uh, Nikki Gooch with the responsibility of the final two laps. The bell now. Japan way out in front. Great Britain in second place. And uh, coasting home, Norway in third. <laughs> With that excellent stuff from the uh, Japanese team. And that's the lineup in heat two. The Republic of Korea, Russia, Italy, and Austria. Once again, the lineup. There's uh, a little bit of an anxious start there. And again, from uh, the Italian. Maurizio Carnino. So, obviously, a lot of nerves out there. The Italians out in front with Korea in second place. Russia just a dicey moment there. Down in third, but the uh, Italians perhaps starting to pull away. It's 
Wulleman, number 136. And uh, an interesting battle brewing between the Koreans and the Italians. You can see the Koreans right up on the Italians now. The Russians uh, struggling to keep in contention. In the middle, the disappointed Austrian team, who uh, disqualified with two full starts. So Willemann takes up the running for Italy now. 15 laps to go. As uh, Korea now take a change, and uh, the Italians likewise. Maurizio Canino is out there for Italy. Song Ye Kyun handed over. Another change for the Korean team. Italy looking very impressive. Willemann it is again, who takes up the running. Korea in hot pursuit, and they've closed the gap well. Nine laps to go. Carnino, it is out in front for Italy now. But perhaps the uh, Koreans just biding their time. Che Ji Hoon for Korea. Looking very strong indeed. Almost effortless around the rink. So coming up now to lap the, uh, the Russian team. did well. And the gun goes. So Italy looking good. The last change. One lap to go. Italy Comfortably out in front. Korea in second place. So Italy and Korea make it through to the semi-finals. And they'll be uh, joining. Well, there's the lineup. Canada, the United States of America, France, and Tension and a uh, few last minute words. Again, an explosive start. And uh, it's France out in front. The Canadians in second place, the United States of America in third, and uh, Sweden at the back at the moment. The Canadians now move into the lead. France in second place, America in third. And the 
Swedes struggling to keep in contention. It's, uh, Canada with a very strong team indeed. Good change from them. So Canada, the United States of America, then France. Frederick Blackburn, it is out in front. He now hands over. And uh, the gap perhaps closing a little, but uh, the Canadians so strong. 18 laps to go. So Canada out in France, the United States of America in second place. Blackburn looking very composed indeed. America in second place and uh, now move into the lead. So the situation now, United States of America in front, Canada in second place with France in third. John Coyle out in front for America. The Canadians make a change. Remember two go through into the semi-finals. No need really to risk anything between these two. Coming up now to lap the French team. USA in front. Canadians take a look down the inside. And uh, it's the Canadians that change. So now Canada in front, America in second. There's Sylvain Gagnon with six laps to go. Out in front for Canada. United States of America safely through. Lapping the Swedish team. And uh, Canada just extending their lead with four laps to go. Canada looking very strong indeed. Frederick Blackburn powering his way. A good change. Three laps to go now. And uh, Canada looking very strong indeed. So Eric Flame does the uh, final two laps for the United States of America. But it's Canada out in front. Half a lap to go for Canada and America now safely around the final bend. And uh, that Impressive stuff from these two teams. So Canada first, United States of America second. They join Italy, the Republic of Korea, Japan and Great Britain. Stephen Bradbury it is for Australia, nearest the camera. And, uh, the gun so uh, one full start has got to get it right this time oh that's more like it got left behind that time China out in front Australia in second place Holland in third Mazilski for Australia out in front.
China in second place. And uh, the Dutch team keeping in contention, a change from them this time. And uh, the Australians turning the screw. from uh, the Dutch skater as he hands it over. But uh, no problems as uh, Stephen Bradbury takes up the running. So Bradbury handing over to uh, Nazilski. And uh, looks like a change the next lap for the uh, Australians. There it is. Still Australia one, China two, Holland three. And uh, Australia and China make a change. Stephen Bradbury takes up the running for Australia. Holland now in second place with China down in third. 13 laps to go. Richard Nzilski in front for Australia. Change from them. to go now. Australia still in the lead. Perhaps the gap closing. A change from the uh, Australians there. And uh, really nothing between them now. China at the back and the lead could change here. Holland now go in front. Mark Velzebor, it is for Holland in the front. Australia in second place, China in third. The Australians totally committed. Richard Nazilski gets the lead back for them. Australia still out in front. And a bit of contact there between uh, China and Holland. So it's Australia out in front. China now in second place. Remember, two make it through to the semi-finals. Holland in third, and they've got a lot to do. Take a look down the inside. He's got the line into the bend now. A change from the Dutch team. Australia still out in front. Holland now into second place. China in third, and the gun goes. So this will be the last change. Australia, Holland, China, two make it through to the semi-finals. One lap to go. Australia out in front, and it looks as though the Dutch team could hang on in there. China unable to make, oh my goodness me. I don't believe it. Dutch team, they've done it all right, right up to that final bend. So Australia through, splendid effort from them. And China, well, I don't believe, don't think they can believe their luck. The Dutch team who had done so much throughout that race, lost it all on that final bend. Just marvel at the commitment from this uh, Australian team. And there, a fall on the changeover. These guys really going for broke. And that's Stephen Bradbury taking up the lead for the Australian team. Superb technique. And there, 
All hope slipping away for Holland. That says it all. Race, so the pressure on now. That's more like it, so on the inner is uh, Lee Kyung Chun, but uh, out in front straight away, the Bulgarian, Eugenia Radonova. And uh, an impressive lead already over the leader, Lee Kyung Chun. And uh, Sandrine Dode taking a look down the inside of uh, Lee Kyung. But way out in front, Evgenia Radanova. And uh, two will make it through to the quarterfinals. So uh, Lee Kyung Chun not wanting to risk anything. One lap to go now. And uh, the two in front, sure to qualify. Not a particularly fast pace but uh, a safe race there so uh, formation of the first heat the, and there's so he kim for the republic of korea lying in second place was a silver medalist in last year's world championships bronze so he kim for the republic of korea lying second behind lee kyung chun going into the 500 meters today In all fairness, it should be quite easy for these two. Dong Sang Shang. Out in front, keeping herself out of trouble. Followed by So Hee Kim and Anne Everett from Belgium. Completely out of contention. Dong Sang Shang leads So Hee Kim in second place at the bell. And uh, quite an easy job for these two. And uh, a very sedate pace indeed. The fires from heat number three. So move on now to uh, heat number six. And uh, in this lineup. Karen Cashman for the United States of America, Nobuko Yamada for Japan, Susan Bush for Germany, and Yelena Sinitsitsu for Kazakhstan. And uh, it's the American, Karen Cashman, in second place. The German, Suzanne Bush, out in front, and there's a faller there. Two fall, two went down. So it's Susan Bush out in front, and uh, Karen Cashman in second place. Cashman now takes a look down the inside and uh, these two don't want to risk anything. Susan Bush lets her go through. So uh, Karen Cashman wins. Susan Bush. There. Eric Flame for the United States of America lying in second place going into the 500 meters. Former world champion in speed skating back in 1988 and he won a silver medal in the 1500 meters from china zhang hongbo and uh, from mongolia bat orgil bachelun and from holland mark velzebur but it's uh, eric flame out in front with hongbo sang in second place and velzebur in third at the moment and uh, velzebur struggling to keep with the two leaders at the bell, Eric Flame in front. Hongbo Sang in second place, and Velzebor taking a look down the inside. Nowhere to go. It's awfully close. Will Velzebor get there? Well, I think he just made it. Eric Flame for sure, with a time of 44.30. And yes, Mark Velzebor for Holland beat Hongbo Sang for that second place, and he'll go through. Well, my word, at uh, one point, on his first look down the inside, there was really nowhere to go, but he uh, didn't panic, took his time. And uh, a splendid effort from the Dutchman. And there, the explosive style of Eric Flame. Gets him in front of uh, Hongbo Sang. And look at the determination on Mark Velzebor's face. He has a look down the inside now. Mustn't make contact. You can see just a hand resting on the uh, back of Hong Hongbo Tsang. But pure guts and determination gets uh, Mark Velzebor through this first heat. 
Well, five. There's the lineup. Marc Gagnon for Canada, lying in sixth place. The reigning world champion and bronze medalist in the 1,000 uh, metres in uh, last year's Olympics. Ji Jun Li for China, lying in equal 12th place from uh, Hungar Hungary. Tibor Kun Belint and Kazakhstan Igor Kutovwa. And there's Stephen Bradbury for Australia. I can tell you that uh, Nikki Gooch for Great Britain has uh, already qualified, as has Ye Kun Song and uh, Bjorna Elgerton. Mirko Wullerman, former world champion, he's through too. And uh, Sylvain Gagnon for Canada and Maurizio Carnino for Italy. They're all through. So, on the end of there, Stephen Bradbury for Australia. And uh, a tough draw, but a, well, I was going to say a good start, but I think he had... So Stephen Bradbury on the inner. And it's Tibor Kun Valint. And uh, a good start from Stephen Bradbury. Mark Gagnon now in the lead. Bradbury in second place. Uh, Yi Hyun Lee for China in third. And uh, Mark Gagnon really extending his lead as uh, Yi Hyun Lee takes a look down the inside but uh, loses contention. The Hungarian Tibor Kunbalint now in second place. Stephen Bradbury with a lot to do. Mark Gagnon way out in front, the world champion. And uh, looking very good indeed, Stephen Bradbury in second place. Well, there was a real scrap for that uh, second world championships, heat number seven. There's the lineup, Frederick Blackburn for Canada, lying in fifth place, silver medalist in these championships last year. There he is. And uh, on the inner there for Germany, Arian Nachbar with the Ukrainian next to him, Alexandra Mikluka. And on the outer for, for Belgium, Jason Bryce. Jason lying in equal 12th place. There are actually six skaters in 12th place. That means they've got three points. And uh, an early faller there, Alexandra Mikluka. But uh, straight out in front, the German, Arian Nakba. In hot pursuit, Frederick Blackburn for Canada. With uh, Jason Price trying to get back in contention. So Arian way out in front. <laughs> Blackburn. Certainly with the pressure on him. Half a lap to go. Needs a good final bend. And uh, Frederick Blackburn say after yesterday's competition and uh, Olympic champion in the 1,000 metres. And Yang Yang from China, lying in fifth place. Anki Jenny Landman from Holland, lying in third place there. And from Germany at the back at the moment, Suzanne Busch, lying in 19th place, equal with uh, Debbie Palmer from Great Britain who goes in the fourth heat here. So out in front, Yang Yang for China. Lee Kyung Chun in second place to go through into the semi-finals. Third place at the moment, Anki Jani Landman. One lap to go. Now Lee Kyung Chun in front. Yang Yang in second place. And uh, those two, the qualifiers for all. And for Japan, Ikyu Teshigawara. And number 49, Sohi Kim on the inner. But it's uh, Dong Sang Shang who goes into the lead with uh, 
Annie Perot in second place for Canada. And so he Kim for the Republic of Korea in third. Hugh Tishikawara out of contention at the moment. Dong Sang Shang out in front. Annie Perot takes a look down the inside. Not this time. Stays in second place. So he Kim. Getting a little bit closer, she'll have to make a move soon. Time running out, and it's Sohee Kim that moves up the inside and takes the lead. Annie Perot for Canada in second place, and Dong Sang Shang right out of it now. The Korean and Canadian sure to qualify, and they do. China lying in third place at the moment. Karen Cashman for the United States of America. Isabel Charest lying in eighth, ninth in last year's World Championships. And uh, Evgenia Radonova from Bulgaria. This Number 61, Karen Cashman for the USA. Next to her, Chundu Wang. And it's Evgenia Radanova. And the Canadian, Isabel Charest on the outer. And uh, keeping out of trouble. But it's China straight out in front. Chunlu Wang. Canada, Isabel Charest in third place at the moment. Karen Cashman right at the back and uh, completely out of contention. Isabel Charay makes her move, moved up into second place. Can she hold it? It's very close. Remember, two go through. Karen Cashman is out of it. Isabel Charay has done well. So uh, Chun Lu Wang and uh, Isabel Charay, Ella Cantlini, lying in eighth, fourth in last year's championships. The United States of America, Amy Peterson, lying in 10th, and uh, for Great Britain, Debbie Palmer, who's currently lying in 19th place, was fifth in the Europa Cup this year, and she's quickly into the lead. So it's uh, Debbie Palmer on the inner there, and uh, Marinella Canclini for Italy, taking a look down the outside as the Korean, Yunmi Kim, makes her move. Canclini is not having any of it, so it's Canclini out in front for Italy. Yunmi Kim for the Republic of Korea in second place. Peterson for the United States of America in third. And Debbie Palmer unable to keep in contention. Yunmi Kim out in front. Can Cleaney takes a look down the inside. Yunmi closes the door. Amy Peterson with a lot to do. She looks up around the outside now. The final bend will be crucial. Can Cleaney will probably get there. Well, my word, that was desperately close. Peterson made it. Yunmi Kim gets through. And uh, Marinella Canclini pipped at the post. Well, I can tell you there was just two one hundredths between Amy Peterson and Marinella Canclini. And disappointment for Great Britain as uh, Debbie Palmer goes out in these quarterfinals. <laughs> confirmation of the medalist in the, uh, the Olympics in the 500 meters and a silver medal for him in the 1000. For Great Britain, lying in seventh place, Nikki Gooch, John Coyle for the United States of America and Stephen Bradbury for Australia. That's uh, John Coyle out in front with uh, Ji-Hoon Che for the Republic of Korea in second place. Nikki Gooch at the back at the moment. Stephen Bradbury just in front of him. So John Coyle for the USA, 12th going into this round. Looking for a good result here. Chi Hoon Che, you feel just uh, waiting his moment to pounce. And uh, Nicky Gooch, right out of it. Stephen Bradbury now moves up inside. But uh, Chi Hoon Che, able to get him on the exit of the bend. And uh, John Coyle it is with uh, Ji Hoon Che for the Republic of Korea that uh, go through. John Coyle's time, uh, 43.46. Ji Hoon Che for the Republic of Korea, 43.64. And there's confirmation of the two qualifiers. Mark Gan Yon, the world champion, bronze medalist in the Winter Olympics in the 1,000 meters. There he is. And for Italy, Maurizio Carnino lying in seventh place. Bjorn Elgerton for Norway. And uh, 
Suzuki Imei for Japan lying in 12th place. And there he is. Algerton in lane number two. But it's uh, Maurizio Canino for Italy, who moves straight out in front. And a bad start from Mark Gagnon. He's left himself an awful lot to do. The Norwegian in second place at the moment. There's uh, the Norwegian, Bjorn Elgerton. And... Uh, Yuzuki Imai trying to get inside and a tremendous final lap from him. Disappointment for uh, Gagnon from Canada, but uh, tremendous race from Maurizio Carnino. Yeah. Yuzuki Imai who made it through, but uh, desperate disappointment for the world champion Mark Gagnon. Lying in fifth place going into this, and there you can see all his hopes of... Uh, Glory disappearing in a split number three. And uh, that's the lineup. Yun Ho, the medalist in last year's championships. And then uh, for Holland, Mark Velzebor. And there, a very disappointed man indeed, Arian Nakba, who has had two full starts. But uh, no problems this time. And Yun Ho Lee for Korea, it is who leads with Mark Velzebor in second place, and Frederick Blackburn at the moment in third, with a lot to do. That was a good lap from uh, Blackburn. Velzebor will sense him on his tail. Yun Ho Lee trying to keep out of trouble. So at the belt, Blackburn with a lot to do. Takes a look down the inside. He's got to make his move now. Blackburn looks down the inside. Velzebor gets pushed out. Now can Velzebor get the better line? And down he goes, my word. What a tremendous... So now the final heat. And uh, the man lying in second place, Eric Flame for the United States of America. And Yukon Song for the Republic of Korea lying in fourth place. Mirko Vullerman for Italy former world champion, and Sylvain Gagnon for Canada. Gagnon in second place. There's the Korean, Ye Kun Song, out in front. Gagnon in second, as Vulleman takes a look down the inside. Vulleman now up into second place. Gagnon trying to fight back. Vulleman and Gagnon. Vulleman very wide round there, tries to get the extra speed, and Gagnon did well to stay on his feet. It's Vulleman out in front now with Ye Kun Song in second place for Korea. And uh, Eric Flame right out of it, as is Sylvain Gagnon. Mirko Vulleman for Italy leads at the bell. Ye Kun Song for Korea in second place. And Eric Flame, desperate effort from him on the final lap. Just couldn't make it. And uh, the two qualifiers, Mirko Vulleman for Italy, Ye Kun Song for the Republic of Korea, and uh, Eric Flame misses out by just one hundredth of a second. A tremendous effort from him on that final lap, but look at the speed of Mirko Vulleman. Total commitment there, and uh, Sylvain Gagnon did well to stay on his feet, lost all his rhythm, had to really fight to get back into it, and Ye Kun Song for Korea really taking advantage of that little confrontation. But uh, Vulleman totally committed and a splendid effort from Eric Flame on this final lap. Kyung Chun for the Republic of Korea, leader from yesterday's 1500 meters. For China, lying in third place, Chun Lu Wang. Canada, Annie Perot lying in fifth place. And uh, for the United States of America, Amy Peterson. They're wearing number 17, Chun Lu Wang. He's on the inner track. Amy Peterson for the United States of America on the outside. And we've already seen that the start is absolutely crucial in this 500 meters. Here's Annie Perot lying in fifth place. 
In fact, she's an equal fifth with uh, Yang Yang from China, who goes in the next heat. So, safely away, a good start from Chun Wu Wang out in front there. Annie Perot in second place. Lee Kyung Chun for the Republic of Korea in third. And uh, Amy Peterson right at the back of the pack. And uh, Chun Wu Wang seems to be extending her lead with every stride. Annie Perot just uh, settling down and uh, Lee Kyung Chun Oh, and a fall there from her. So these two sure to qualify. Chun Lu Wang for China, lying in third place at the moment. Overall, and Annie Perot from Canada. The lineup: Yun Mi Kim for the Republic of Korea. So he Kim for Korea, lying in second place, silver medalist in last year's championships. And for China, Yang Yang, lying in fifth. And uh, she holds equal fifth with Annie Perot. Already seen her go through, so it's important that Yang Yang gets a good race here. And uh, for Canada, Isabel Charest, lying in eighth place. And uh, she's tying there with Maranella Camclini from Italy. So Camclini hasn't made it through. And it's Isabel Charest out in front, followed by Yang Yang. Two Koreans in third and fourth. But, uh, Isabel Charay for Canada trying to keep out of trouble. And uh, Yang Yang with a lot of pressure on now. As uh, Yun Mi Kim for the Republic of Korea moves up into second place. So it's Isabel Charay, Yun Mi Kim at the bell with Yang Yang now down in third place. And uh, Yun Mi Kim moves up into the lead now. And uh, the two qualifiers are... So now we move on to the men's. And there, Yun Ho Lee for the Republic of Korea, lying in third place. Ye Kun Song for Korea, running number 164. And uh, for Canada, Frederick Blackburn, silver medalist in last year's championships. And uh, Mirko Wulleman for Italy, lying in 19th place, silver medalist in uh, the Winter Olympics at this distance. He's in lane number three, wearing number 136. Yeah, Yun Ho Lee, lying in third. Ye Kun Song for the Republic of Korea out in front. And Frederick Blackburn almost losing his stride there. Safely into second place, though. And uh, Mirko Vulleman has left himself an awful lot to do. Vulleman now hot on the heels of Frederick Blackburn. And again, as he did in the quarterfinals, skating very wide indeed. And it's Vulleman now up into second place. Blackburn unable to keep him at bay. Wulleman in second place at the bell. And Frederick Blackburn now down into fourth. Good final bend from Wulleman, and he's safely through. So Ye Kun Song for the Republic of Korea wins with a splendid effort from uh, the Italian Mirko Wulleman. Second place there, Yun Ho Lee. 100 meters yesterday. Olympic gold medalist at this distance, silver medalist in the 1,000 metres. From Italy, lying in seventh place, Maurizio Canino and John Coyle from the United States of America. And for Japan there, Yazuki Imei. That's the Italian Maurizio Canino on the inner. Oh, dear me. And a very quick start from Yazuka Imei. Let's take a look at that again. Well, Maurizio Canino, the Italian, didn't flinch at all. <laughs> a lot of tension here. John Coyle, the United States of America, off too quickly that time. 
see uh, Chi Hoon Jae very late down into his start position. So, John Coyle and Yazuka Ime with uh, a full start each. No problems this time as the Korean Ji Hoon Che goes out in front. Maurizio Canino in hot pursuit with uh, John Coyle for the United States of America at the back at the moment. Yazuka Ime for Japan in third place. Ji Hoon Che looking very strong indeed. The Italian looking down the inside and takes the lead. Maurizio Canino out in front with Ji Hoon Che for the Republic of Korea in second place and uh, John Coyle for the United States of America up into third. This a very tight heat indeed as the American looks down the inside. Ji Hoon Che closes the door. Half a lap to go. Maurizio Canino out in front. The Korean in second place and the American John Coyle looks down the inside and well I don't know Ji Hoon Jae really closed the door on him smiles on the face it is 500 meters here in Norway and uh, the winner from yesterday's competition hasn't made it through into the finals the line up here Yunmi Kim for the Republic of Korea lying in fourth place. And it's uh, Chun Lu Wang for China lying in third at the moment. Two Canadians have made it through. Annie Perot lying in fifth place. And uh, Isabel Charay lying in eighth. <laughs> In lane 3, number 51, Kim Yong-Mi, Republic of Korea. In lane 4, standing number 17, Park Chung-Hoon, China. There, Annie Perot, wearing number 13 on the inner. Next to her, Isabel Charay. And it's Yun-Mi Kim and that uh, Wang Chun-Lu. So that's Wang... Chun Lu Wang, sorry, for China out in front. And a, a very impressive start indeed. Canadians in the second and third, with Yun Mi Kim in fourth place at the moment. So Chun Lu Wang out in front. Isabel Charay in hot pursuit for Canada. Annie Perot in third place. Isabel Charay. Trying to make a move at the bell, but uh, Chun Lu Wang closes the door, and now Yun Mi Kim has moved right up into third place. It's going to be a desperate lunge for the line, and uh, Isabel Charay just holds off the. <laughs> and we move on now to the men's competition. There's the lineup. There for Korea, Jin Hoon Che. There the uh, Italian lying in seventh place, Maurizio Canino. And G. J. Kun Song for Korea lying in fourth place. And there the uh, other Italian, Mirko Vullerman. Silver medalist in uh, the Winter Olympics. And the two Koreans off very quickly indeed, as is uh, Granino. It's uh, Chin Hoon Che for the Republic of Korea in front, with uh, Che Kun Song in second place. The Italians looking for a way through. Wulleman totally committed up into second place, but uh, Che Kun Song not having any of it, makes his move again. So it's Mirko Vullerman in second place at the bell. Vullerman fights his way through. Ji Hoon Che out in front. And Vullerman's going to take the silver medal. And the result there, Ji Hoon Che for the Republic of Korea wins. With Mirko Vullerman for Italy in second place. And uh, Maurizio Canino just fights off Jae Kun Song for the Republic of Korea. And uh, Canino takes the bronze medal in this 500 meters. Well, once again, 
a tremendous display from Mirko Wollemann. He really is a, a tremendous competitor, totally competed. Nips inside, Ye Kun Song. Song fights his way back. And uh, Maurizio Canino trying to take advantage of that little move. No doubt about the winner. Ji Hoon Che. And uh, he now has 10 points. Korea in fourth place. So the overall standings, uh, Chi Hoon Che for the Republic of Korea in the lead. In second place is Mirko Wollemann. And uh, he's in joint second with Eric Flame. And there's confirmation of that, both of them on three points. And uh, in fourth, Maurizio Canino, Ye Kun Song, and the Republic of Korea up against Japan, Russia. <laughs> Twenty six laps to go now. And uh, Koreans at the back of the pack at the moment. And a faller there. So Japan in second place. So at the moment, Japan, Bulgaria, and uh, the Republic of Korea. And things getting very, very complicated indeed. Japan in front, Bulgaria in second place. A change there from the Bulgarian team, the Koreans down in third. Although the uh, Russian skater is out in front, they've, uh, they're a lap behind. So, uh, Ikyo Tishigawara for Japan takes over the lead now. Republic of Korea in second place. Russia completely out of it. And now Korea take the lead. Yeah, Nobuko Yamada for Japan. But uh, Korea stretching their lead now. There's yeah, Sachi Ozawa for Japan. And uh, an untidy change, but it's still Koreans out in front. Japan in second place. Bulgaria in third, and uh, the Russians just about a lap behind. Korea now make a change. Nikhil Tishigawa for Japan. Russia make a change. Korea still out in front. So one high Kyung one. It is for Korea. And uh, the Japanese will make a change this time, as do the Koreans. And that's Sashi Ozawa for Japan. Trying to close that gap. But uh, the Koreans looking so strong with 11 laps to go. Lee Kim there, handing over to Lee Kyung Chun. And Japan now go down. That's uh, Ayako Tsubaki. So they've made a quick change. And that really does open up the competition. So he Kim there for Korea. Looking very strong indeed. The Koreans keeping themselves out of trouble. And uh, they've built up quite an extensive lead. Well, Japan back in contention. Sashi Ozawa just uh, nipping inside the Bulgarian. Yunmi Kim there for Korea. 
way out in front with five laps to go. And uh, nips inside one of the markers there. The marker had actually been moved, so uh, no problems. She kept her line. Three laps to go now. And uh, that's Lee Kyung Chun. One more change allowed. And it will be So Hee Kim with the responsib responsibility of running the final two laps. A tremendous scrap between the Japanese team and the Bulgarians. But uh, the Koreans, very good indeed. So Hee Kim coasting away home round the final bend. And uh, Korea safely through. And uh, out of the first heat, it will be the Republic of the reigning world champions. The Italian team finished fourth in the Olympics and the world championships. And uh, the Dutch team with an awful lot to do. A very tough heat, this. And there, the Dutch team. So Annie Perot, it is for Canada on the outside there, but it's uh, China that go straight out into the lead. And uh, a good first lap from them. So it's China, Italy, well now Canada into second place. China, Canada, Italy, and then Holland at the back. There. So Canada now, number 16, Christine Boudre in second place. China still out in front. The Italians hanging on in there. And oh, a nasty moment for Canada then as they make a change. And Canada move into third, but back up into second place. China still out in front. Canada second, Italy third. And uh, the Dutch team dropping back all the time. So uh, you can see China starting to pull away. A change from the Canadians. The Dutch there. And uh, China take a change. But uh, quite an extensive lead with 20 laps to go. And uh, a shake of the head from uh, the Canadian skater. Arunella Cantlini for Italy. And uh, she hands over to Katia Couturi. So uh, the Italians trying to reel in the Canadians. Yang Yang, it is for China out in front. And there, handing over to uh, Chun Lu Wang. Canada making a change as well. The Italians unable to make any impression on the Canadian team. Perhaps the Canadians getting closer to China. So a change there from uh, the Chinese team, and that's Yan Mei Tsang out in front. And uh, the Canadians unable really to make any impression. Italy closing the gap once again. Dong Sang Sang, it is for China out in front. The Canadians with a change now. Canada perhaps getting closer with three laps to go. China lapping the Dutch team. So it's uh, Yan Mei Tsang with the responsibility of the final two laps. Canada looking good to qualify into the finals, getting closer with every stride. Needs to keep out of trouble. The Italians fighting back, but uh, too much to gain. And there, and there the lineup for the uh, men's. 3,000 meter. You're looking at and the Australians, silver medalists in last year's World Championships. And there, Great Britain. 
looking for a good start. Safely away, Great Britain in second place, Italy in the lead. So Italy out in front with uh, Maurizio Carnino. Great Britain in second place, Australia in third, and uh, China at the back at the moment. Richard Zazilski, it is for Australia. Diego Catani for Italy out in front. Great Britain in second place, China in third. And a good change there from the British team, and they now move into the lead. Italy in second place. Great Britain and Italy to uh, make a change now. That's Jamie Fern for Great Britain out in front. The Italians just uh, biding their time, Maurizio Canini. And the Australians trying to fight their way back. Nicky Gooch out in front for Great Britain, and he falls there, didn't make contact. So desperation there for the British team. And now Italy out in front with China in second place. And there Mirko Wulleman taking over the lead for the Italian team. China in second place. And uh, there's a focused man if ever there was one. Hands over now to Maurizio Carnino. And uh, Hongbo Tsang for China. He hands over his responsibilities. Australia into third place, trying to fight their way back. Great Britain back in fourth. So quite a lead built up by this Italian team. The Olympic champions, the Australian silver medalists in last year's World Championships, trying to claw their way back, but uh, they really have an awful lot to do with 11 laps to go. There's Vulleman. A determined look on the face of uh, Dong Han. Maurizio Carnino now takes over the running for Italy. Three laps to go, now down to two. And it's uh, Orizio Fagoni who will do the final two laps. So Italy sure to qualify. Australia with too much to do. And uh, Great Britain just coasting home. So the uh, Italians win. For the second heat. And uh, Japan, the world champions. Up against Canada, bronze medalists in last year's championships, Republic of Korea and the United States of America, who won a silver medal in the Olympics last year. So it's Japan in lane two. There for the United States of America, J.P. Schilling. Canada on the inner, and uh, a tremendous start for the Koreans. Ye Kun Song, it is, who's uh, built up a very good lead. The Americans make a change, as do the Koreans. America in second place, Canada in third, Japan in fourth place. So Mark Gagnon for Canada, and Japan make a change, and Gagnon very close to the American there. But uh, Korea out in front, America in second place, Canada third, Japan fourth. So Eric Flame in uh, second place. And uh, Bryce Holbeach, it is for Canada in second place. 
the Koreans now make a change. And uh, Canada take advantage of that as Mark Gagnon now takes up the running for the Canadian team. The Americans back down into fourth place. Mark Gagnon right up on the Koreans. Needed a good change there. And the Americans now out of contention a long, long way back. It's Frederick Blackburn for Canada. And uh, he's just overtaken by uh, the Japanese. They make a change. Canada now down into third place. Korea in front. Japan in second place. Ten laps to go. Canada third. And America trying to fight their way back. Yekun Song it is for Korea out in front. Canada in second place and almost going there. And so is the Japanese skater. Tremendous stuff here. Korea out of trouble. Canada back into their stride. And that's uh, Bryce Holbech. He makes a change. The Americans up into third place. Japan back down into fourth. That could change now, but no America hold off. Seven laps to go. Korea out in front. Canada in second. United States of America in third. Canada now make a change. Japan take a look down the inside of the Americans. The Americans make a change. And Canada up on the inside, and Canada now move into the front. That's Frederick Blackburn in the lead. And uh, Hun Ho Lee for the Republic of Korea down in second place. Canada lead. Republic of Korea second place. Japan in third, and America back down into fourth place. Four laps to go. And the Americans with an awful lot to do. Japan take a look up the inside of the Koreans. Canada out in front of Japan. Maybe moving into second place. Three laps to go. And oh dear, the Japanese skater did well to stay on his feet. Canada extending their lead. Korea in second place. Remember, two teams make it through into the finals. At the bell now, Mark Gagnon in the lead for Canada. There's number 180. That's Eric Flame for the United States of America. With too much to do, the Korean just gets there at the end. But uh, that really doesn't mean anything. They both qualify through to the finals of the uh, qualifications and it's Canada and Japan that go through the Republic of 